Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. Today's video is going to be something I don't normally do. Natty or not, Zach Efron, the actor. I don't like to do these natty or nots with guys in our industry because it, it, it's irrelevant. You know, I, I no one's natural in our in our industry, and the people that are take nutritional supplements. That they're still not natural. So it, it, I don't like to even guess, and I don't like to tell people they're not natural if they say they are. It, 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 there's no there's no purpose there. But but celebrities are another story because celebrities, you know, um, people want to know how they attained the physique that they did, assuming they did a movie like The Rock. Obviously, The Rock we know is. is is uh, not natty <laughs> for sure, and there are a lot of people that you can just tell that that are. I mean, Stallone was not natural, and obviously Arnold wasn't. But you know, when you get a guy like Zac Efron, he's not a big guy, but the guy is ripped, and you know, he, he has some muscle on his body. He's got nice shape. He's got pecs. He's got arms, shoulders, and you know, I don't know what his legs look like. Really, I mean, his legs are really not that big, you know. But he he's definitely lean, and he just did this movie, uh, the greatest beer run of all time. He was pretty jacked for that movie, too. And now he's doing this new movie on that wrestling family, the Von Erich family. And he's playing um, Kevin Von Erich, who, you know, was during the 60s. The Von Erich family were like the royalty of, of the wrestling world. And, you know, they were the showmans and they they had they, I don't really know the whole story. I can't wait to see the movie. Actually, I think it's pretty interesting. But I know that they were they were like the top dogs. They were like the Hulk Hogan of their, you know, their era. And uh, he's going to play the rise and fall of, the, of this Kevin Von Erich uh, character. And he had to get in really good shape. And, you know, he, he had talked about the fact that he was in really good shape. And he was. And I saw him when he was in Baywatch. He was shredded. And one of the things he said in the interview about doing Baywatch was that he had to get so paper thin skin. He doesn't think he can ever do it again. Because in order to do it for Baywatch, he said he had to use Lasix to get that dry skin look. Now, the average person would never know to use Lasix to get the dry skin look, okay? Uh, he obviously knows bodybuilders or works with a bodybuilder uh, who ha obviously instructed him on how to get, you know, dry and shredded. Probably a little too severe, you know, <laughs> in my book, I wouldn't give him any Lasix, but obviously he probably felt like crap when he was using it. And that's why he doesn't want to do it again. And he said after Baywatch, he was in such good shape. He kind of got depressed and he, and he just wanted to stop working out. You know, he got burnt out probably. He was overtrained. He didn't know what was going on. But after taking a little break, he realized, you know what? I, I feel better when I'm training all the time and eating right. So this guy kind of lives the lifestyle, even though he's not huge. And I don't think he probably takes anabolics on a regular basis. But probably if he's if he's getting ready for a movie part where he needs to be athletic looking, um, you know, he's going to take – what he needs to take. And obviously for this new role, I mean, he, he's been looked pretty big the last couple of years. If you look at some of his Instagram stuff, he, he's kind of like a Colin Van Moger guy. He kind of has been going through this like weird phase where he's like kind of like a little depressed. He's talked about, and he's been doing crazy shit, like, you know, jumping off cliffs and stuff. I'll show the footage. I mean, <laughs> some of the stuff is very dangerous, you know. Uh, obviously bungee jumping is has always got a level of danger to it because you never know if the bungee is going to hold and he's, he's, you know, jumping off of cliffs into water and stuff like that, just stuff where you, you can get hurt. And I know he broke his jaw recently. I don't know how he did it, but so he's obviously in that like danger stage. So I don't think he would be adverse to taking some anabolics to put on a little extra muscle, maybe take some clenbuterol to get a little leaner. To me, it's, it's, he's not the guy is who's going to be like squeamish about doing that. If he's jumping off cliffs. So, all that evidence points to the fact that he's and he and he has a look that he's taking out of box. He's not huge, but he's got that ripped, dry skin look with the fullness, you know, where he's you can tell he's got blood volume to him. Matter of fact, in the picture from the um, the new film on the Von Eric, he actually looks like he might have a little bubble gut. So he might even be on GH for all we know. He can certainly afford it. You know, he's making good money on these movies. So. The, the thing is, who cares, right? But, you know, we like to talk about these things because it makes us feel good about ourselves to, to know, all right, you know what? Yes, he trains hard, he eats right, because that's pretty evident. But, you know, he's got a little help too. Uh, and, and I would bet, you know, my reputation that he's doing something. Uh, I couldn't tell you what his cycle is, if you know, because I'm sure that'll be the next question I get asked on Ask Dave. What, what is Zach Efron's? I don't know what the cycle is. I don't know him personally. He's definitely taking something. It's very obvious. But in the same breath he probably is not an abuser of the stuff because 
he doesn't look like he is, you know, he probably uses it as he needs it to get ready for roles, get ready for a photo shoot or something like that. If he has one and, you know, he, he, he has obviously some good advisement. There's actually a cool picture on his Instagram. I saw of him and uh, Hugh Jackman actually working out together and Hugh Jackman, he definitely was taking something when he did some of those Wolverine movies. He was, he got really big at one point. He was looking amazing, looking shoulders, arms, you know, forearm, back, abs, chest. So actors are not afraid to do what they need to do to look their best on screen because let's face it, you know, they get paid for uh, how popular they are and how they look. And if people look great and people want to emulate how those people look, think Stallone back in the day, uh, you're going to make more money and you're going to demand more money as an actor for your roles. So I think, uh, I think Zach looks gr great. I think, you know, and, and, and for those of you who might not know, because, you know, you, you've never been in the movies or, or in commercials or anything like that, the camera adds a lot of weight to you. So you could, you look a lot bigger on camera than you really are. If you saw this guy in person in the t-shirt, he's probably not that big. You'd be like, Oh, he's, he's, he's got veins in his arms. He's lean, but he's not big. Then you see him in the movies and it looks a lot bigger. I mean, when I saw myself on the Jenny Jones show years ago, I was 315. And when I looked at myself, when I watched the, when I watched the show, I said, who the fuck is that? I looked like a, like a, a an elephant, or like a hippopotamus. I was so just big and taking up so much space on the screen. I, I never saw myself as that big, but when you see yourself next to normal sized people, you know, it becomes more apparent how much bigger you are than everyone else. And, once again, the camera adds size to you and makes you look even bigger than you are. So take that for what it's I remember when Ronnie Coleman was on, I think it was the Jay Leno show. He also looked like he looked like he made Leno look like he was like a little kid. Ronnie looked like bigger than life. Like, you know, but we get used to that look as bodybuilders. We're like, ah, we that's normal to us. But when you see yourself in a situation where you're with normal sized people, you realize how big you are. So once again, probably the other people in the movie think Zach's jacked out of his mind and huge. You know, if you saw him in person, I guarantee you wouldn't think he's that big. But I do really appreciate and respect what he's doing, the lifestyle he's living, the work he's putting in in the gym, the work he's putting in with eating the right foods and nutritional supplements. I think he looks great. But final verdict, Zach Efron, Natty or not, not.